In this video, I'm going to show you a simple little trick that you can use to basically glitch match coverage out of the gun bunch for a one play score. This is really, really effective, um, specifically against man coverage as well. It's a really good man beater, zone beater, all that stuff, but it's really good against match. So I'm really excited to share this with you. This comes out of the gun bunch. I'm in the Seattle Seahawks offensive playbook, and I believe that Seattle's the best playbook to run this with because it has the mesh post play, which is what we're going to be going over, and how you can basically manipulate the match coverage uh, with motion to create a one play score. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you're new to the channel, I want to let you know that I have a full gun bunch ebook out that is my entire gun bunch offense, and it's uh, broken down not just from one playbook, but it's actually broken down from every meta bunch playbook in the game, like the Colts, the Seahawks, the Washington football team, um, the uh, the Panthers, and on and on. So if you want to learn the complete package for the gun bunch, I would encourage you to get that. It's on sale for $15. It's a one-time purchase. And we also update that guide anytime we find a new route combination or anytime there's a patch that changes something. So that being said, let's jump into this video and I'm going to show you how we can basically just manipulate the crap out of the cover four show two or the match defense in Madden 22. Now the play was mesh post out of the Seattle playbook and the setup is really simple. All we're going to do is we're going to put the square receiver on an out. We're going to put the R1 on a slant and we're going to motion him to the left and we're going to snap the ball just before he sets his feet. And what you're going to see is against match coverage, this running back route is going to absolutely torch the match defense. Now, what I also like to do with this um, is I could take that backside uh, guy Brown and put him on a vertical route and just clear out even more space so that whenever I set this motion up, you're going to see right here that watch this left side safety. You see that he completely dumbs out. And as you see, we're going to be able to beat that cover four show two defense for a one play score. Now, like I said, if you want to get my entire gun bunch offensive guide, there's going to be a link in the description below. You can get it on, on sale for just 15 bucks. And what's really cool about this is oftentimes people think that this is the only way that they're ever going to get bombed is if they put this deep half out here they're never going to be in trouble they can run match as much as they want and they're never going to have any problems not so and what you're going to see here is we could literally just take that circle receiver and put him on any route it doesn't matter um i wouldn't leave him on the post though i would put him on some kind of vertical route or whatever maybe even a whip route and then put like a a uh, a delay fade on the field for extra protection but what you're going to see is and that right there i think me not putting the tight end out out messed up the play so let me show that one more time but again so you'll see right here now i'm going to adjust my match i'm going to put this deep half over here because that's supposed to stop every bomb in madden and what you're going to see is we should be able to bomb the match coverage actually i guess the guy's going to guard him so you can just lowball it, which is fine. But I guess that is the move. <laughs> so, you know, you can stop all those match beaters that direction. But, you know, standard match coverage, if they run cover four quarters, this is a super, super simple way to beat it for a one play score. Again, you see here that's your setup. And then you'll see that most of the time that guy glitches out. If he doesn't glitch, um, which it might be just because we've ran the play a couple times here, if for whatever reason that guy does not, that outside quarter zone does not uh, glitch out, you can always hit your slant. Your slant will be open. Um, so you see here where it's like kind of covering everything. So that's where you could leave that post. You could turn that post into a curl. There's a lot of things that you could do to continue to make this effective. I'm just saying one of my favorite ways to beat the match is this because you'll see right here that, that oftentimes that right there is going to happen. And again, it's it, you see there that it's, you know, sometimes it happens, right? Um, for whatever reason, I think it's like in, in the coding of the practice mode where we get some randomness every now and then. But um, I'm telling you right now, this is one of my favorite ways to do it. If you want to for sure, like, do this, I'm pretty sure that if you put this guy on a streak, you should see it's even more effective. So as you see right there, easy lob over the top for an absolute laser this concept does apply to other formations but i think it's the best out of the bunch because we really put them in a position where they can't afford to not 
man up the running back or have a deep blue defender on that left side. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to get my complete gun bunch offensive scheme, it's the best offense in Madden this year. There's a link in the description below. You can get the full offensive guide for just $15. And again, remember that it updates as new patches come out or we find new stuff for the year. So it's a one-time purchase of $15 and you're getting the most up-to-date gun bunch offense for the year. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get the guide, there's a link in the description below. You just click that link, it'll take you right over to the website, and we'll get you all squared away.